Uh, at this point, I'm just going to assume that all of us are completely on board with interdimensional time travel by this point. I've been around a lot longer than you, boy. Back to Broken Arrow. We wrote the book on interdimensional time travel. It wasn't a very good book. Too many inaccuracies. But we still wrote it. Feels like Russ Man's turning into a fucking ice cube. Oh, this ain't good. No good at all. It would seem this facility's employees are uh, still on the job. Which is worse, the cold or the reanimates? Feels like walking through frozen molasses. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. No need to get testy. I think we all learned some valuable lessons about teamwork on our last, uh, Adventure? Hmm? Adventure? Rustman ain't on no adventure. Rustman's trying to stay alive. Damn. How can a boy with as many fancy boys as you pick such a bad one to describe the shit we've been doing? Called the front end of a ship, the Fox Hole. Pass right out of that boy. are facts. We are at the mercy of forces we cannot control. So far, Stuhlinger's friend has at least kept us alive. I suggest we attempt to construct this uh, Garthen device as he has requested. Most men can't argue with that logic, especially in the absence of other ideas. No question. What in the broke-ass world actually is an organic to get I don't know what that energy is. But it fucked up this place worse than a football bat. Moist! It's colder in here than a witch's tit in a brass bra! <laughs> You didn't even see me down there. Bet you've been itching for a chance to lord it over old Rust Man, haven't you?
like the shotgun, the submachine gun trades output for accuracy. Ooh, the old quantity versus quality conundrum. It's simple ballistics. Slower bullet, shorter barrel, deader Marlton! This is the type of gun that leaves me as quick on my feet as I am swift of mind. Something tells me I have a plethora of headshots in my future. Excellent. This ray gun may prove vital to extending my lifespan. What kind of beach doesn't have a lifeguard stand? That's just negligent. Case. Yeah, uh, I, I get queasy just looking at it. Stay in this water long without becoming a Marlton sickle. Wonder what the fishing is like in these parts. Mostly bone fish and dead men, I'm guessing. Rust man's lived in nastier places than this boathouse. Not that I'm bragging.
seems like more of a commercial vessel, but I hope they have a weapons locker. Hmm. I have not yet decided the purpose of this, but I am sure when the time comes, it'll be most useful. Thrown hard enough, even a snowball can kill. I hope. <laughs> Ammunition tells me I'm running out of ammo!
Theorem, I am out of ammo. Corollary, run! Sorry, thought that would sound... That's one less variable to contend with. for this whole operation? Hell of a place to put it. It was worth coming here just to kill him with snowballs. Body mass. Still 100% lethal.
Why do they always go for me? Oh, yes. Brains. <laughs> Brains. Rustman, you deserve a prize or a compliment. <laughs> On your way, groundling. Do you ever feel guilty, Russ? You worked for Broken Arrow. They were into some strange things. Things that may have contributed to Earth's current instability? Current instability? We've been bouncing around the world so fast for so long. <laughs> go on legless like that, do they not feel pain? Then why all the moaning?
Those components, the limb is by far the most important. If that snaps, ooh. Be told, I think shotguns are a bit common for an intellect such as mine. In a more just and equitable world, men with an arm strength deficit, like me, would always get an SMG. Ah, the SMG, a quintessential lightweight chatterbox, which is also what Stoolinger once called me. I uh, like the action on this bad boy. I don't, actually, but it always feels cool to say action with regards to a firearm. If anyone wants to debate me, I'll let this baby do the talking. Fair warning, it is hard to argue with 900 rounds per minute.
and Y is agility, this weapon is strictly lower right quadrant. Sorry, that had to be said. To say a shotgun isn't precise would be an understatement. Some of us would rather a scalpel than a machete. Can't go hunting one of these. His head ate them up and packed them out. Yes, they did. Muzzle velocity, 4,000 feet per second. Rate of fire, 700 rounds per minute. Mileton rating, eh, 7 out of 10. It's somewhere between assault and sniper on the rifle continuum. versus quality conundrum. A gun this large should be mounted on something big, heavy, and slow. Paging Russman! Mystic knife. Fascinating! Don't pick on someone your own size! A hint, Schoolinger! Back to 
eagle rifle, huh? Why does worst man feel like he's trained with one before? Rifle. Hmm. Sounds like just the thing for a tactically minded man like yours, Stevie. This gun is found if the rock goblins keep their distance, which is pretty much never. Give me one of these that fires grenades, and then we're gonna be in France. So simple an idiot can use it. It helps explain Russman's fondness for shotguns. All right then, let's bang you boys with this. The work they got is done quick, but I'll be hammering away. Finally, a rifle for the discerning gentleman with a horde of flesh eaters to deanimate. Speak softly and carry a big stick, said somebody. Well, this is one hell of a stick. Ah, the assault rifle. The mid-sized sedan of small arms. I got no sympathy for a rock gobbler rockweiler. Uh, yeah, we need a better name for this class of weapon than Tactical Rifle. May I suggest Marlton Rifle? Voice gun Russ man ever fired was a shotgun. Don't know why Daddy left it in my grill. Get your mangy ass back to hell. Nice ammo! Devil Box, are you messing with me? You know Russ man ain't no sniper. Well... Let me help you get your head straight. As they sought to exploit hitherto unknown elements, Broken Arrow conducted a series of illegal and highly immoral experiments upon human test subjects. I know Russ Man's brain may be a little frazzled around the edges, but don't you ever dare question my character. Thank you, Devil Box. Don't mind if someone else helps themselves, though. This is the type of gun that leaves me as quick on my feet as I am swift of mind. Somebody else wants this? Be ashamed to let it go to waste. I just cut your puppet straight. Well, I'm not complaining, but giving me a shotgun is like handing a can of spray paint to Picasso. You done got suckered by a monkey, monkey suckers! <laughs> ah, it just keep on crawling. Makes me want to vomit every time. a broken arrow. Russ man walked out of that cursed place and he ain't never looked back. Unless someone or something makes him. 
Oh, 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 how convenient. You deny all responsibility for the social chaos and destruction wrought by an organization you, yourself, profited directly from? You, Russman, are one of the bad guys. Damn, Rock Gobbler called me flat-footed. <laughs> if you can hear me, if I don't make it, can you please kick Rustman and Steelinger in the testicles? So, does this mean you'll finally start being nice to me? Hmm, I don't think so. Statistically speaking, this is probably my ideal weapon. Now, keep from becoming another statistic. One does not have to be a genius to use one of these, but I find it helps. Well, not the most powerful firearm, but at least it won't go off the back. may not always be better, but I'm willing to take my chances with this belt-fed beast. Oh. This weapon has the perfect ratio of weight to firepower. The same can be said for Misty. These little guns remind me of Martin. Once they start yapping, they never shut up. Most man seen this before. It's the element, the crazy stuff, whatever you want to call it. It's what makes us man, makes us point on each other. Uh, yeah, what are you talking about, Russman? You literally and figuratively make no sense. Speaking, this is probably my ideal weapon. Now, keep from becoming another statistic. Better freaks than you have tried me, and you'll end up just like. Yeah, a few more hits like that, and I'll be taking a permafrost nap. Has to be a safer way to get around. Double points.
Mother used to collect monthly orchids. She used to blow up too. the source of all our troubles? It must be full of secrets! Ah, uh, this is bringing back some difficult memories from middle school. Oh, Stuinger's German friend worked here, did he? Well, you sure know how to pick him, Stu. They kept test subjects here, didn't they? Humans treated like it's lab rats. Down. Unconscionable. supply by morning so they used crude mining technology to refine the 115 eh, guess that's all they had back then Nikolai, I assume you're an ally of Stuhlinger's psychic liaison?
Most men have seen these before. You get punched in the machine at, and what was I saying? It is nice to have some backup. Even nicer if he was actually here. Keep fighting, good fight. A Garfin device is crucial. Man and Lighthouse will help obtain it. It's starting to dawn on me. This mission, the world depends on it! Saving your life, Russman? I know, I won't. Body weight and oh, <laughs> there it is.
bone size. Hint, Stoolinger. Take it. But earplugs and safety glasses would have been appreciated. Well, not the most powerful firearm, but at least it won't throw out my back. Oft dismissed by the unworthy, a sniper rifle is the apex, nay, the zenith of lethal weapons. If anyone wants to debate me, I'll let this baby do the talking. Fair warning. It is hard to argue with 900 rounds per minute. Get this straight. I'll lose twice my blood supply by morning. I keep wondering, is it a laser, a maser, a blaster, a plasma, a gamma gun, a disruptor, an antimatter induction coil? I mean, these are questions anyone would ask, right?
I do believe we have a new ally. Seems friendly enough.
Uh, yeah. Am I correct in deducing that Stu's German friend is in the was a Russian? Hey, Stuhlinger, this one of your German buddies' crew? Uh, at this point, I'm just going to assume that all of us are completely on board with interdimensional time travel by this point. Are you seriously asking that, Marlton? After all the crazy, crazy things we've had to deal with since the world went to... This is preferable to being cooped up in the lighthouse, but still cold as Jotunheim. It would seem this facility's employees are uh, still on the job. Unless there are any objections, this is now mine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, no need to get testy. I think we all learned some valuable lessons about teamwork on our last, uh, adventure. Hmm? A reanimate with its own electromagnetic field! Double points! Ooh, the bridge is up here! <clears throat> Marlton, you have the con. Gearbox needs repairs. Should be some way to repair it, though. Foxel. Most ignoramuses pronounce it forecastle, but it's really closer to foxhole. <laughs> Fun fact. This aggression will not stand. I demand satisfaction. <sighs> facts are facts. We are at the mercy of forces we cannot control. So far, Stuhlinger's friend has at least kept us alive. I suggest we attempt to construct this Sagarthan device as he has requested. Soda Company taste test with zombies. I could really use a few more clips of ammo. That's what they call them, right? Clips? Lighthouses symbolize stability and safety in an uncertain world. Mm, it's not working. Thanks, buddy. Love to talk more when you're uh, ready to open up. I am just someone with dreams of escaping. Such intense dreams.
Don't look down, don't look down, don't look down! <laughs> um, unless there are any objections, this is now mine. <laughs> I'll never stop wondering. <sighs> oh, which is worse? Is it the cold or the reanimates? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I put my shirt in, it'll spin out a winter coat. <laughs> I can't stay in this water long without becoming a Marlton sickle. Does my <laughs> hypothermia is setting in? How in the name of Sir Isaac Newton does this mechanism work? Tell if I'm shivering from cold or trembling with fear. It's a thin line.
Um, no thanks. This one's up for grabs. will do the trick. <laughs> it always does. Ugh, I'm gonna die before I get this thing into place. to be a safer way to get around. I would love to perform a spectrographic analysis on these beverages sometime. Out of the ice box into the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
always want to wet my pants when this happens! Once we get all the parts, you reckon you'll be able to figure out this device thing you were supposed to build? Well, assuming that Richtofen's cohort can indeed provide me with at least a modicum of guidance, I am as confident as one can possibly be in these trousers. don't want to know why this is so sticky.
I hope Misty didn't hear that. insane to do this! What happens after this, Marlton? I mean, we hear all this talk about saving the universe. What does that actually mean? It would be wrong to assume, but I would at least hope for a return to a normal, stable, functioning society with no zombies.
Hope they wore respirators in here. Wouldn't want to develop a case of blue lung. Hardly ever talk about who we were before all this. Misty, my hero, my Valkyrie, nay, my rock. Getting there, hmm, coconut and mercury? Just the ticket!
from a wire would make me feel more safe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Listen to me, Misty. Do you feel like your thoughts are clear? Or do you feel more like a blank canvas, a shell, a husk, a ghost? Tell me something about yourself, anything. Why do they always go for me? Oh, yes. Brains. <laughs> Brains.
All I'm missing is a giant magnifying glass. Kills them? Essential lightweight chatterbox, which is also what Stuinger once called me. <laughs> Not even Einstein could explain this machine, but who cares?
I'm just scared, Misty. I like understanding things, and these days I don't understand almost anything. Are we really going to be okay? How can we be sure? Hey, hey. We're gonna be okay. Believe me.
Que... <risos> Statistically speaking, this is probably my ideal weapon. Double now, keep points. from becoming another statistic. Time out, reanimates, just for a few seconds. A packed gun in the hand is worth two in the... You know, where am I going with this? Shot just for me? Right, Christy? I'm 
a little guy. Ooh, look at Moral to Looks like I'd better put in some overtime. It's the kill. appears to be missing something.
Almost knocked off my pocket protector. If you can hear me, if I don't make it, can you please kick Russman and Stulinger in the testicles? Well, I'm not one to boast, but maybe I should be.
Johnson, Snowball Ace. Watch out, reanimates. I'm packing dynamite now. That's packing with an apostrophe.
did warn me about running with a bad crowd!
way to stay hydrated. temperatures around here.
This weapon has the perfect ratio of weight to firepower. The same can be said for Misty. The Monkey Bomb. Chimpanzius Explosivus. An endangered species, to be sure. Oh, seriously? This unwieldy piece of junk again? To debate me, I'll let this baby do the talking. Fair warning, it is hard to argue with 900 rounds per minute. Like the shotgun, the submachine gun trades output for accuracy. Ooh, the old quantity versus quality conundrum. I do this so frequently, I'm getting carpal tunnel syndrome. Yeah, we need a better name for this class of weapon than tactical rifle. May I suggest Marlton rifle? In a more just and equitable world, men with an arm strength deficit, like me, would always get an SMG. Venerable Shotgun, proud descendant of the Blunderbuss. Hail fellow well met. Oft dismissed by the unworthy, the sniper rifle is the apex, nay, the zenith of lethal weapons. A Russian nesting doll, eh? We are in Siberia. Ooh, something tells me I have a plethora of headshots in my future. Well, I'm not complaining, but giving me a shotgun is like handing a can of spray paint to Picasso. These are always effective at grabbing someone's attention. This is the type of gun that leaves me as quick on my feet as I am swift of mind. Hmm. Handgun kills tend to be a little more up close and personal than I care for. Muzzle velocity, 4,000 feet per second. Rate of fire, 700 rounds per minute. Marlton rating, eh, 7 out of 10. Power is nothing without precision. The gunsmith who crafted this beauty would certainly agree.
No, not the most powerful firearm, but at least it won't throw out my back. I take great satisfaction in lining up their heads in the frost hairs and boom! Lights out. Finally, a rifle for the discerning gentleman with a horde of flesh eaters to deanimate. how you're a pistol is meant as a compliment, but getting one from the box feels like an insult. Like the shotgun, the submachine gun trades output for accuracy. Ooh, the old quantity versus quality conundrum. Something went right for me. Insufficient funds, eh? Money-making Marlton shall return. Come our four-legged friends!
predicted this outcome exactly three calculations ago. A few more hits like that, and I'll be taking the permafrost nap. If you can't stand the cold, get out of the tundra. May I borrow some bullets, please? My gun's clicking! Empty guns click! Therefore, according to the transitive property, I'll lose twice my blood supply by morning! Why does this 
things keep happening to me! Wait, don't answer that. This aggression will not stand! I demand satisfaction! Mother certainly would not approve. This is for taking away my firecrackers. to test this out. Any volunteers? Ready for your curtain call, my pint-sized Pagliacci? A riddle wrapped in a mystery nested in an enigma with a pound of C4 at its core. One does not have to be a genius to use one of these, but I find it helps. I sincerely hope I'm not expected to retrieve the arrows. Victory.
attempting to eviscerate me! faster on me, given my body weight, and oh, <laughs> there it is. What did that one drop? Thank you. 
Get me out of this ice, please! ratio of weight to ammunition tells me I'm running out of ammo! A few more hits like that and I'll be taking the permafrost nap! Levels decreasing, along with my chance of survival. Am I out of bullets? And why does this always surprise me?
Thank you. 